Hello, beloved of the Lord. This is Bev. It's December 4th, 2018. So the Lord has been showing me some things today that I feel that I'm to share. I would like to wish everyone a blessed Hanukkah. Uh, most of you probably know that Hanukkah began yesterday. Yesterday was the first day of Hanukkah. And I believe what he's showing me ties in with Diana Olivieri's word, I am come. So I will link that word below and you can check that out. And I would like to look into it in more depth later, but not on this video. So I just wanted to talk a little bit about Hanukkah and what it's about. So I want to just say, oh, I have a couple of videos too that I like concerning it. Uh, which I will link below as well. Uh, but just in a nutshell, I would like to say that Hanukkah is basically the celebration of God's victory over the Antichrist system. And you can find the story of that in 1 Maccabees in the Apocrypha. And it's a wonderful story. And um, they do uh, give a lot of details in those videos um, so uh, those would be helpful as well. And if you have the Apocrypha, I would um, definitely recommend reading uh, First Maccabees. Okay, so that victory resulted in the temple being redeemed, restored, and dedicated to God. And that's all I'm going to say about Hanukkah myself. For the moment and we're going to move on to some events in the Lord's life because I still feel that what is happening with the man-child is paralleling the life of Jesus. So we have completed Mary's 33 days of purification and that is when the Bible says that Jesus was taken into the temple and the first of Hanukkah was exactly 33 days after um, this, the circumcision. Um, I'll try to link the video where I talked about that down below. Okay, so just hang on a second. All right, so here we are in Luke 2, 2 verse 21. The title is Jesus Presented in the Temple. So on the eighth day, when it was time to circumcise him, he was named Jesus, the name the angel had given him before he had been conceived. And that name, as we know, means my salvation. Okay, so now we're going to look at after the time of Mary's purification. So when the time of their purification, according to the law of Moses, had been completed, which we know was 33 days after looking back in Leviticus, Joseph and Mary took him to Jerusalem to present him to the Lord. As it is written in the law of the Lord, every firstborn male is to be consecrated to the Lord and to offer a sacrifice in keeping with what is said in the law of the Lord, a pair of doves or two young pigeons. Now there was a man in Jerusalem called Simeon who was righteous and devout. He was waiting for the consolation of Israel. Beloved, have we not been waiting for the consolation? All right. And the Holy Spirit was upon him. It had been revealed to him by the Holy Spirit that he would not die before he had seen the Lord's Christ. Moved by the Spirit, he went into the temple courts. When the parents brought in the child Jesus to do for him what the custom of the law required, Simeon took him in his arms and praised God saying, Sovereign Lord, as you have promised, you now dismiss your servant in peace, for my eyes have seen your salvation. Which you have prepared in the sight of all people, a light for revelation to the Gentiles, and for your glory, oh, sorry, for glory to your people Israel. Isn't that something? 
It says right there that Jesus was sent to the Gentiles. The child's father and mother marveled at what was said about him. Then Simeon blessed them and said to Mary, his mother, This child is destined to cause the falling and rising of many in Israel, and to be a sign that will be spoken against, so that the thoughts of many hearts will be revealed, and a sword will pierce your own soul too. There was also a prophetess, Anna, the daughter of Phanuel, of the tribe of Asher. She was very old. She had lived with her husband seven years after her marriage, and then was a widow until she was 84. She never left the temple, but worshipped night and day, fasting and praying. Coming up to them at that very moment, she gave thanks to God and spoke about the child to all who were looking forward to the redemption of Jerusalem. When Joseph and Mary had done everything required by the law of the Lord, they returned to Galilee, to their own town of Nazareth. And the child grew and became strong. He was filled with wisdom, and the grace of God was upon him. All right, so here I want to go back to my calendar um, for October, which I believe were the proper was the proper month for the fall feasts. And I have made a video explaining that. I will try to link that below as well. Okay, but all, what I want to point out is that here, 10 days after the new moon, is what I believe was Yom Kippur. And the Lord gave me evidence that it was truly Yom Kippur. And then, we have the first day of Sukkot on the 24th, and then the eighth day was the day that Jesus was circumcised here on the 31st. And if we count exactly 33 days for Mary's purification, we come exactly to the first day of Hanukkah. Oh, no.